Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the first ever 1v1v1 amphibious vehicle conversion challenge slash build to ever happen on YouTube. Today I've splurged a little bit. Okay. How did you splurge? I'll show you right now. Stay right where you are. <laughs> oh, the grand reveal. Oh, it's like a home oh. improvement. Oh, 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 so oh, oh, Huge thanks to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's vid, but more on that later. I call the red one. Dude, oh, no, no, come no, on, dude, no. I called it. No. You heard me. No, the Tommy. red one is the biggest, and I have the longest the, legs, dude. I'm, okay, I used to be the biggest guy. I'm not even the biggest guy anymore. Gosh. I actually got you that because it has back support and here on the channel we love to support veterans. Oh, you, you did get this for me. I did. Thank In you your for your face. service, Norm. If this video gets 70,000 likes, we're going to get three used cars. Wow. Bro, who am I filming with right now, 70K. Dude? Dude, I need to pay you to be here? Holy. Holy cow, you're famous. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the challenge is simple. Going at Home Depot, you have $200 to convert this land vehicle to an amphibious vehicle. If we can do this successfully, I will buy three used cars and we'll do this in Lojo's Lake. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, wait, what the hell? All right, boys, one caveat. We're gonna have a short race. Whoever wins gets an additional $50 to their budget. Dude, Another you, $50? Yeah. So Let's go. Sorry. Yeah, Man. Legs on everybody at home. So we're starting right here at this parking line. We're gonna go to that stop sign around this trailer. If you get hit by a car, you lose 50 bucks. But if you don't, and you beat everybody else there, you gain 50. It's a lot of traffic coming. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. Norm's coming. Oh, oh, go. This isn't fair. My legs are too oh. <laughs> no one's injured. Dang it, why did I give you the lumbar support? But I am gaining. Dang. The glutes are firing. Oh. Do I have to touch the stop sign or what? No. I think uh I'll get that one to you. Ojo gets 50 bucks. <laughs> Got it. Last time we did a boat shoe video, my legs just are a huge disadvantage. You think being tall would be awesome? Last time I couldn't even squat in the shoes. And this time, whenever I put my feet down, it just hits the tires. I think if you crashed, it should have been minus 50 as well. <laughs> did he wipe out good? My legs are too tall. Congrats, $250, Thank big you. bucks. Yeah. Spend it, spend it feeling, wisely. Feeling like a wealthy man. 250, 200. I'll give you 200 even though you wiped out. I felt kind of bad. It wasn't even funny, I can't. Felt sad. Yeah, because he was trying pretty hard yeah. when it happened, I think. You ever seen like a baby giraffe fall? It's heartbreaking. <laughs> All the time, actually. <laughs> 15 minutes starts now. The Muay Thai knees. So a lot of you have been dropping comments down below that we should use foam board in these makeshift boat builds. We also might have brought some extra fiberglass from the Itty Bitty build. A little bit of resin and it's so hot outside that it'll react within an hour. So we can foam everything together, shape out this futuristic Elon Musk looking type thing and then fiberglass it together with an actual boat hole. Guys, I read the comments. There's like 95% of you guys love me and there's like 5% of you guys just absolutely hate me on AO's channel. Uh, and you want me to be super serious about this stuff. So I'm gonna try, I have like eight ideas in my head just in the parking lot. My mind got to going. I don't know what's gonna work. I just want you guys to know I'm not an engineer anymore. What is your idea? Tell me that. Like, I, dude, I have like seven ideas. Well, like, yeah, but there's you wanna hear? Be... You wanna hear one? Okay, so this one's probably too expensive, but imagine. <laughs> okay. Two wheelbarrows on the side oh of a my God, dude. <laughs> Is all this foam the same? I want to get outdoor moisture resistant, strong, durable, easy to cut and handle. Why is there cut lines down the entire board? If That's I could find so two really big jugs, build a uh, like a bracket mount up. So yeah. it's not like in the way while I'm pedaling, mm -hmm. build it up and then have big flotation up top. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? See, I always think of kind of the same thing, with, but with PVC, just like doing like a pipe system, like almost making like a pipe raft, build okay. it around the go-kart. You know what I mean? Two inch? No. That's our only option if we're gonna do foam. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need fiberglass to make this thing work. Definitely. So majestic. Before we move any further, today's video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. 
This boat post is an awesome membership club that sends boxes to you just like this every month. Each box has around a $70 value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. Also, 90% of the ingredients of these bad boys comes from small businesses. So every month they're gonna give you a quiz that you take and it's gonna match you up with the box. If you wanna swap it for another one, go right ahead. If you wanna skip the month, skip it. Don't even spend a penny, you dirty dog. They've sent me three different boxes, starting with the Terra Kit. You can use it to dig, cut, saw. What else do we have here? Base light grooming detox scrub bar. Box number two is the forge kit. Hmm? Oh, you want my wallet and cash? This one's called the slash kit. Let's test the durability of this bad boy. You want me to do it? Go. Act like I've worked for four days and haven't come out of my office. Yep, that's it. <laughs> And if you would like, you can get 20% off your first order. If you go to the link in the description and use code AO20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash AO20. Now back to the video. I have the same PVC pipe pontoon idea that I had the last time we tried to build a boat on AO's channel, but uh, I did not know there was different size <laughs> PVC pipes and then different size caps. So you have to match them. Now that I know that information, I might be able to get her done today. Ah, that noise got me to the core. Ooh. Now that I'm realizing they only sell this, this foam, it's not very rigid at all. We're gonna have to have something to kind of brace it all up. That noise is terrible. Well guys, my plan is to walk around until I find something that catches my eye. It's kind of like my love life. Mm. Oh, can I go outside? If I get five of these, will I even have enough room to build five? So if I get three out of each of these, that means I would have 12 boards. That's 12 inches. That means I would have to put a 12 inch lift kit on my go-kart. Okay, so according to this chart that I have right here, if I use four foot pieces on the side of this four inch PVC pipe capped, of course, so water can't get in, I should have about 50 pounds of buoyancy per piece. I weigh like 215, that cart probably can't weigh more than 20 pounds, 30 pounds. So let's just say 250 pounds divided by 50. So I need like at least five pieces of this four foot long capped on each side, right? I don't know what I'm gonna do, dude. I don't like, I just get this thrown. I just get a truck reveal and it's like, hey, you gotta make this thing float with $200, 15 minutes. And everybody's like, dude, Aos is always the best because he thinks about this for two months, dude. I'm really starting to hate this guy. So what I'm thinking is, we will shave out the actual shape of the go-kart. So we're gonna end up having probably a five to six inch thick foam board that exceeds the width and the length of the go-kart by maybe a foot or two. Then we're gonna fiberglass, glue, add some type of structure because this does not feel very uh, strong. And I happen to be the heaviest guy in this challenge. Do you know where there'd be big jogs, like massive jogs? Like I'm talking about the ones in Breaking Bad where they put the bodies in, poured the like the chloroform in them and killed people. I want like two of those. Do you know if they sell those here? To all you young guys out there that you feel fit, you feel great, you feel like it's gonna last forever, it doesn't. That just looks so flexible, man. I hope I'm not the norm of this challenge. I'm getting a little nervous. That doesn't look good, dude. I don't know at all, man. I don't know if this is the right way to go. So rather than like buying the bigger pieces and then cutting them and having like a jagged, uneven edge, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these two foot pieces and cap the ends and then connect two pieces in the middle with a connector piece. Now I know PVC pipe's supposed to be cheap, but these things are actually like 20 bucks a piece. So we're, we're not gonna have much of a budget for much else other than the piping itself, the caps, all the caps to make them watertight, and then some type of like a concrete, a glue or something for the PVC pipe to make everything water sealed. So this is our 60, 80, 100 bucks. This is 199. Is that a sign? <laughs> if I get two trash cans on the side, but it might not be able to, because not only does it have to float, but we have to be able to ride it down Lojo's Hill. So it needs to be a go-kart. The whole thing about Amphibious is it can be a vehicle and a boat. And I think if I do trash, oh, they're only 30 bucks though. Oh, this is a hard decision. 
I could do both. Dude, that's so clutch. If one doesn't work or if I'm like midway through it and I'm not liking it, I can switch up my game plan. <laughs> Should I put you in here? Because <laughs> you guys are trash. I can't that don't mean it. You guys are awesome. We got 10 minutes. We don't have enough time to see. Okay, the one thing I haven't been thinking about is how am I gonna attach the foam to the go-kart? I think we're gonna have to use some form of zip ties. Maybe, I... duct tape. Duct tape? Tommy says duct tape. We need glue, duct tape, zip ties, and we've spent roughly $120, so we have $80 to go. Okay. So I've got eight pieces, that's four four-foot pieces, and I've spent $160 of my budget already. Luckily the caps are a lot cheaper than the pipes themselves. Some of that might be very useful. God, this bamboo is oh, my ex-wife. Gee, Willikers. I feel like one of those, you know like those channels where they build swimming pools out of tools? You know that's all fake. Every single one they have machinery, they're all staged and we're out here doing this for real. Shoot. Shoot, man. I don't mean to do these things, guys. It's unintentional, I swear. Now the cool thing here is at my house I actually have a ton of materials just sitting around that I can use to fill in the gaps here. So we've pretty much spent $200 just on the pipes. I might need a few things, but I've got some stuff at home. So I think, uh, I think we're good here. Liquid glue. All done. Duct tape. Good God. Scared me for some reason. I felt like my dad walked in on me and I was watching a Red Door movie. What you got going on over here? With Dude, this purple board? don't even question it. You'll figure out sooner oh, or later. Oh, this is like foam insulation. Do you see what I'm thinking? Can you tell where I'm going? Well, I would, but there's so many sheets of it. I'm kind of maybe. I don't want to say it though, because if it's not what you're thinking, if it's what I'm thinking, because I'm thinking of something that's kind of similar to what you could be thinking with this. <laughs> so I'd rather not say it out loud. Yeah, keep it to yourself. Yeah, you, you dirty might dog. Not be Oh, wow. Oh. You guys tell me I'm so glad it's entertaining for you piece of garbage. So you guys, here's the idea. I was gonna buy wood to mount these, but bamboo I feel like is, even though it's super heavy, it's very buoyant. What we could do, we have three ideas now. Number one, we could make the trash cans mount them up. Number two, we could just lay a whole bed of bamboo right kind of like in the middle of the go-kart. Idea number three, cardboard, or we could combine all three together and have cardboard, <laughs> trash cans, and bamboo. I think when we start building, we're gonna figure it out. I just need like ratchet straps and duct tape to kind of like try to tie these on or something. It's driving me crazy, dude. Used to just go catch one pounders on gummy worms and they get views. Now I have to do all this garbage. We actually have some leftover room in the budget. I think zip ties could be a pretty useful thing to have around. That could be useful. Saws all blades. Oh, you want bamboo for your boat? It's right here up front. We'll grab it for you. We're the helpful place. Home Depot, there's not a employee in sight. I've ruined half their inventory and I haven't even had to talk with anybody and I'm screaming and we're filming. <laughs> Sorry, man. Huh? No, I'm trying to like do, do stuff for myself. Dude, I just, I understand the comments of why people hate me, dude. Guys, I get it, man. I hate me too. Trust me, if I could choose one person not to be in this video, I would choose me too. Yes, yes. All right, guys, so we have the bamboo in the cart. And if you're gonna okay, mount them the to the bottom of the piece of plywood, just bend it, yeah. bend it however you want yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know if that'll work for you or not, that but that's the next best thing I've got. Probably will. I'm sorry. Yeah, got a project of brewing. 
Yeah. Pissed off every old lady in the south, bro. Watch out, Tommy. Oh. 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 Mm. We genuinely have 90 minutes this go around. <laughs> genuinely? Genuinely. Most of the time we have a time frame, we don't stick to it. This time we're sticking to it. Stick yeah. to it and let's do it. You boys heard it. 90 minutes starts now. <laughs> so I am going the foam route. You guys have said it a million times in the comment section. I'm doing it for you. It was the thickest foam and the most durable foam I could come across. Also, liquid nail. Completely stick these things together. My thinking is if we can cut these boards in half, we'll have roughly eight boards. Oh, what the frick? Dude, dude, I thought they were all individual bamboos. It, they're all connected. I swear the universe is against me, but I'm thinking I might just leave the four boards together and have a thicker board so I can kind of distribute the weight better. I'm the fattest guy here, dude. Hey, do you have any scissors, man? Or like a knife? Just whatever would fit in my neck. <laughs> See what we're working with here. You need to know how much clearance we got on the bottom. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I need this back. Don't break this. If you hit jugular, just try not to hit bone. Watch out behind you. Oh. You open the okay. Yeah. Sure. I don't know why I jumped so bad. I know. Something dude. about a veteran sneaking up on me. <laughs> dude, nice. Thanks, Brad. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, I got sausage fingers, so. Shablow. Cap number one. I'm not sure how much you're supposed to put on there. I just kind of slopped some in there. I feel like that's the way to go. There's one. Wow, that makes a funny noise. Why does it do that? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> How did we not know it was all connected? Do you know this? You knew the whole time, you piece of Chicago garbage. That could be the dumbest idea I've ever seen in my life, Norm. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, dude. Genuinely. I have a bad news scenario here. I'm one cap short because AO made me return caps. Something about struggling financially or something. I don't really know. But I think we've only got enough caps to do five of these bad layers. Oh boy. I don't think that's enough flotation. What do you guys think? Dang it. We really need one. One more would give us like almost 200 pounds of buoyancy. We're going to water test the foam before we do any cuts. Okay. But you guys are so nervous right now. Like, uh, I like the, the upward dog position. Mm-hmm. This is just out. How about that? <laughs> I think that's actually up downward dog. Dude, I didn't know he bend it like that. It doesn't feel sturdy enough with just four. I think we're gonna have to cut them, dude. Oh, so hot. Your pond water is just Woo. the only problem we're facing. The foam is perfect, but we need this thing to function on land as well, not just float. The clearance, that's maybe four inches. I don't know what size to make my foam boards. It's gotta be thick enough to hold me in this. The good news is these go-karts are only 20 something pounds. Let me do some thinking. I'm kind of winging it right now because I've made a few miscalculations as usual, but neighbor Daryl's gonna come back and help me a touch. But I'm thinking just a basic frame here. I mean, just imagine a pontoon boat. I mean, it's a very simple concept. You have a frame, you have a square, basically, and you have flotation along the sides and in the middle. Pretty much what we got going on here with two by fours and PVC pipe. But problem is, I don't know if I have enough flotation to hold me. But here's the open. I mean, you know, it could work. Try to get that blade in the dirt as much as you can. All right. My whole plan is kind of like, I thought these were all gonna be separate, so I'm just gonna start cutting holes in it and just attach it to my 
go-kart and see if it works. I don't even know if this bamboo is gonna float. It weighs like 120 pounds. Make room for the tires before we make room for anything else. Good practice for stabbing my friends in the back. All right, I'm gonna start screwing this together. As long as you don't think it's the stupidest idea in the world. Shablawi, like so, that's how it's gonna fit in the back. Doesn't have to be too pretty because I really think I'll be able to clean this thing up with a fiberglass. Might even come in and paint it. It's a lot of work to do in an hour. I think, oh, I think that resin and fiberglass is gonna react pretty dang quick. Oh gosh, dude, that's like the worst noise ever. Yeah. Yeah. Here's some extra flow tape that you need to do. I need it. Ow. Well, we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to find a way to incorporate that. That will actually help a lot because I'm one, I forgot or I lost one of my caps. And I'm only sitting, that's only like 180 pounds of flotation right there. So I'm a little short. There you go. Make sure these things are gonna clear here. The frame's gonna sit up like this. Oh, they're just gonna fit. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Doesn't have to be pretty. It has to do the job right. My pedals are gonna hit. That's the only problem. So I gotta do pedal space, drill it, trash cans. And we're gonna see if it floats. I don't think it's going to. Comment down below. Who out of everybody, who do you think? Oh, dude, I'm, so, I'm sweating. I'm so sorry, Tommy. Make me so nervous. Cutting this board takes forever. Yeah, but now it's not gonna. It's not gonna roll on land now, is it? Well, getting closer. Thirty minutes. I've cut two boards. Still gotta glue them, fiberglass them. What you saying? It's gonna be a part two series. No, Daryl. Back next week. I'm saying I'm putting this bad boy in hyperdrive. I had to sweat straight through my pants. You guys can kind of see the basic idea we're going for here. Super simple. It's just a frame. I mean, it's all it is. And then just att attaching as much buoyancy, in this case, PVC pipes, as we possibly can. That'll pull. Yeah, so it'll work. <laughs> Found some two by fours in the woods and we're adding them on to add some structural integrity. So what we're gonna do is try to make it a smaller surface area and then add the two trash cans to kind of add more buoyancy so it's having to float less of an area, if that makes sense. So that way I don't sink and everything floats. So that's kind of what we're working on. So the go-kart is literally gonna go on top of this and then we're gonna move the trash cans because we did a water test, they do fill up with water. They're not watertight. So we're gonna try to duct tape them together, but also we're gonna move the whole build around to where open part is still up above water unless it all fails. This is probably the biggest challenge we've ever done where things just might not work. We might all sink. Look how narrow this foam is right here. And it comes with these pre-cuts so you can fit them in weird locations. If that blows out, I'm falling straight through this thing. So the booty of this bad girl is catching. That's the problem. That's where we're hitting. We're fine. We have a little bit of clearance up here. I don't want to cut or remove anything. I really want this to be sturdy. So we're just going to remove a little sliver. I think that's good. And I'll just tape under. Gotcha. But guys, if you ever wanted to know what an amphibious vehicle looks like from underneath, oh yeah, pull it. All right, pull tight. All right, tighter. Yep, there you go. Pretty tight? Pretty tight. Oh, you know, tight right? Sawdust in my eye. That's awesome. Oh, man. So I'm just literally going to put as much of this on here as I can. Because I want this stuff to be together good. I don't know how long it takes for this stuff to dry. I think that's gonna be our biggest challenge is getting this stuff to dry, set in in the time frame that we have. We do not have time to clean all this stuff off and let it dry.
Oh, we're gonna get roasted so hard. Okay, let her down. Yeah. And guys, just think that AO had months to think of this idea, and <laughs> that's what it amounted to. Meanwhile, if you look at this, this was a spur of the moment decision. We found bamboo and trash cans. I mean, Air's mother. And, um, I didn't mean it, dude. I was just trying to do content. I don't have enough time to fiberglass. It's a tough pill to swallow because I've been really excited to use the skills Tim has taught me in real life situations. But I have an hour left of daylight, 50 minutes left of the challenge. It's not possible. We're just going to take this thing to Hades and back. My bit's in there. This thing looks like Frankenstein <laughs> on steroids. It's Oh man, we did all that really good. Cause those front wheels will be in the water. Like oh, if yeah, we mount this that, thing yeah, like oh, right yeah, here. Be underwater, yeah. Oh yeah, if we mount like right there. Yeah, you gotta mount it when you do your pedals now. Wait, do these go, do these off power the back ones? Yeah. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh, oh, I see what you guys did wrong. Now the back wheel spin. I felt bad cause I didn't have time to fiberglass my stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> at least my wheels still touch the ground. <laughs> How can you mess it up that bad, Luke? That's bro? bad. Wow. Dude, Norm, you, know you look like an amazing builder right now. Dude, I'm just saying. You. It's liquid nails hitting the dome right now, and I'm feeling a little fuzzy. Oh! Oh! This boat kind of reminds me of AO's YouTube channel. Has wheels, barely going, might not stay afloat, and it's kind of trash. I have no faith in this middle part where all my body weight's gonna be. Hey, uh, What's going on? Ringley Brothers Barnaby and Bailey Circus. Okay. See what it takes to float an elephant, you'll get a general idea what it floats that ass of yours. <laughs> I really need this to fit really snug on the middle. Ninety minutes later, we're covered in our own bodily fluids. Half of it sweat, half of it not sweat. Lojo, you're up first. Let's see what you've done. All right. So um, look, I'll be honest. I made a pretty bad miscalculation. Completely forgot this was like a rear wheel drive go kart here. So when you hit the pedals, it's actually the back wheels that go. So I designed the entire thing to keep the back wheels. This seems eerily similar to a previous challenge we've had. You could imagine this back half actually being set up correctly. And mine, no. had it worked, it would have worked. So that was true. that was good. I like the way you worded that. Look, man, y'all y'all pass all the judgment on you want. You went over budget. You probably didn't, but yours is not. Oh my work. gosh! So, don't tell me I went over so, budget. So you doubled budget. Dude, I, I got fifty extra dollars. Board box. No, okay. You talk Norm's at all, up. Dude, Norm's up next. Let's see what Norm's done. I'm gonna keep mine simple. So I used all the supplies I got from the store. Uh, bamboo cut holes in it. Trash cans. Go kart. Whole thing. Final boat. My boat. I'm not confident at all. Typically in these challenges, I'll get up and shake my tush around. Yeah. No tush shaking. This no time. tush shaking tonight. Dang it. Yeah. Sorry, man. Past three hours have culminated to this moment right now. You boys ready to see what we've done? I'm ready. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. You that time. <laughs> first person to make it to the other side, I'll give a hundred dollars. That's it with boats like this? Are you kidding me, dude? A hundred dollars? Sink as soon as I we get in there. The Look. <laughs> Good I'm God. sorry, these guys don't know how to appreciate a Benjamin, dude. They're so bougie YouTubers. Let's see who floats. It's going to be dark in 10 minutes. <laughs> it's getting dark right now. All right. Let's see who can function on land. Oh, wait. Neither of these amphibious vehicles even touch ground. No, my wheels are turning. My wheels are turning. No. Whoever said bamboo floats, they bamboozled me. You see that, Daryl? The front end's floating up. It's a good start. Look at here, boys. I want to see it. Oh, it's making so many. Bumps. I'm rolling. Oh, no way. No. Oh, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Norm. It's okay. It's going to float, though. Norm, don't you worry. Hold on. I feel like you guys don't know what amphibious really means. It means a cold-blooded animal 
located in your swamps. Oh, it's kind of floating. <laughs> I'm floating. All right. How are you going to go, though, now? Me? Yeah, how are you going to go? No! <laughs> I'm going to keep my $100 and take my wife to a nice dinner and buy a fourth of a tank of gas. Oh, you got outdoor treads on yours. Am I? Oh, shoot. Come on, girl. <laughs> Dude, it's not made. You put one den underneath there? Your pontoons are literally sinking right now. They're taking water on like a submarine. My amphibious vehicle is an amphibious submarine. Uh, I think we all knew this was going to end up happening ever since the beginning of the build process. So it's up to uh, Lojo and Ao, kind of out of this thing, but I'm going to keep on fishing, keep on wishing. But my wind streak had to come to an end at one point. Your container is literally taking on water as you paddle. You're going to get it to the middle and it's going to sink and you're never going to be seen again. I might be out of gas now. Oh boy, she's going. <laughs> Dude, if I had some type of propelling system, I would be in the cash. Dude, if you could put a trolley motor on that. I know. Oh, it came back up. That just means I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly kind of let down by my competition oh, in this that. video. I feel like I actually built something that could roll down into the lake and float. Ayo comes up with these ideas and he's got a month to plan. I literally came up with this idea yesterday. <laughs> I just filmed three hours before it gets dark. He does research for eight days before. Oh, it fills with water. Can't say that I'm surprised by any means. Um, there could be a repeating thing going on when it comes to these videos. So guys, I thought it was over, but turns out I just had to figure out my weight distribution because all of those bamboo sticks I cut, they ended up being hollow in the middle and I got in the middle and it folded on me and the trash cans fell over. I cut off the dead weight and look at this. <laughs> we are still afloat, baby. I can't really use the go-kart as propulsion, but I can use my feet and it's working and my go-kart is still on here. Not to flex on anybody, I don't wanna make anybody here feel bad, but. Nothing. <sighs> oh, shoot. <sighs> this boat would have been great. what you kids need to learn. Anytime that you get too cocky, it never ends good. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, your rod just impaled me in the neck. We just want to make sure you didn't get that $100. Sometimes you have ideas, and they sound great on, on paper. And then you realize who your friends are, and it just doesn't fit your friend group. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Can't wait to make another one of these for you guys. I'm sure you loved it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, he ended it. So, I guess that's the end. I think he's mad at me. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I'm scared. <laughs> Put your small gas <laughs>